Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on... Uh, what is this place? Are we Louisiana Lafayette or are we the other one? I think we're the other one. All right. Ozark State, that's what the name is, against the Louisiana Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns. They are a 75 overall, including a 79 overall offense. You guys do the math. I don't think... Well, you know what? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Those are the Sun Belt standings. We are sitting in sixth place. Of course, RBT South Alabama. Second to last. Ozark State versus Louisiana. And you know what? Cajun Field is pretty packed. Who's coming to this game? I know Louisiana Lafayette's been pretty good so far, but it's a game against Ozark State. Let's let's relax a little bit. I don't think Pedro Goddard can play against big crowds. There's even room on the grass. Also, this stadium looks awesome. Look at the hedges that are trimmed for the UL. Oh, I'm a big fan. Never played here before. Kendrick Cunningham is our starting QB today. What happened to Pedro Goddard? I thought he would be back for this game for sure. What happened? Injury report. All right. How long is Goddard out for? PCL sprain. He's questionable. It's not a length. I don't think we're going to have him for this game, but... All right. We're on the noodle. Noodle arm. Kedrick Cunningham in the game. Oh, this is not going to go well. He has an actual noodle. It's going to all be short stuff screens maybe to roll in Francisco but there are worse plays in the playbook clearly first down I feel like in the past the offense has excelled the most when we've been in a vertical style offense but Kedrick Cunningham really doesn't give us that option what amazing sideline to sideline range from that linebacker there unbelievable that's an interception uh, McCollum there took away Two routes somehow. Already made the decision to lob it up. And once again, we're starting the game with an interception. He didn't do this in the first part of the series. Recently, we've been terrible. And a lot of that is on me. Just misreading cues and somehow running past McGuire there. I'm not sure. It's going to be a read option. Jennings takes it himself and is laid out. Anthony Jennings paid for it. These uniforms are incredible. Especially the helmets. Oh my god. These are incredible. Let me know in the comments section. What are your favorite uniforms in college football? Who do you think has the best set as Burn is wide open? Honestly, right now, in 2018, I would lean towards Colorado. I tweeted about this. Twitter is in the description as well. As all my other links, second channel, third channel. Uh, Etc. Twitch, but the Colorado uniform sets, like with Lavisca Chenault, that team, oh, they're so good. They really are. It's another read option. Anthony Jennings will be a major problem for us today, I would guess. That's a huge hit. Kuchow, Lightning McQueen, get him in the chat. Number 95 lays the boom in the backfield. It's another handoff. Two broken tackles. Pretty much make it a third. There is a flag. This one could be coming back. And it's going to be clipping? It is clipping. There goes that touchdown. Sorry. It's another read option. It's a triple option. And we shut it down so well to screen I'm all over it I'm holding why man give me the pick I deserve it I've decided I deserve it I read it the entire way 
You know, we held him to a field goal. Anytime that happens, we got to consider it a win. Go Cunningham. That's a great block to the outside. Really try to look for something there, and the ball's on the ground. It's recovered, luckily, by Karan Kirkpatrick. Cunningham fumbles again. We really just got to get in the habit of sliding with him. Goddard holds on to the football a little bit better. Cunningham puts it on the ground at any opportunity. It is third down, though. Blitz coming in. And that is just... It's not even close to who it needed to be. Timmons was wide open to the flat, and the ball is just so bad. So poorly thrown. Fourth and two. We're going for a fake! Huggins! He picked up two! Did he get the first down? Tell me he did! Oh my god. The conversion was successful. The fake punt run. Running back, fullback, direct snap, whatever it was. Inside our own 30. What a gutsy call and what a result. There we go, Cunningham. All right, we got to start sliding. Really do. But Cunningham's trying to keep going. <laughs> what is happening? With Kedrick Cunningham at QB, it really just is a run-only offense, which sucks. But I'm telling you, I mean, you saw it on that last uh, incompletion. He cannot throw the ball. Another game where we're starting over on third down. We need to get out of that habit. We're going to go Cunningham up the middle. Tackled from behind. We pick up the first down. Third and nine. We might actually have to throw the ball downfield here. We're going to try it. Oh, it's not there. It's intercepted by Howard. Jesus, man. We're getting into the habit of throwing interceptions. I'm not, I'm not really a fan. Denarius Howard picks me off. Like the matchup, obviously you can see. A little bit underthrown, stepped in front of. Not good. Oh my god, Lightning McQueen, I need you to wrap up there. Big tackle by Chris Outlaw in the backfield. But Lightning McQueen really made it all happen. Read it perfectly and, of course, didn't wrap up. Oh my god! Gardner on the loop. Over the middle. He's breaking tackles. And uh, I'm still trying to dive in and hit stick. And it's it, it's just not going to work ever, probably. Jennings, someone hit him. Do more than hit him. Wrap him up. Jennings trying to run. Falls down in the backfield, losing seven in the process. It's the senior middle linebacker, Montrell Gardner. Look at him just overpower the right guard. Oh my goodness. Sheer power from Montrell. Throwing deep and throwing over. Anthony Jennings can't find his man. And we have held Louisiana Monroe that's the last game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Held Louisiana Lafayette to another field goal try. This one is a weird angle, but it's just as good. 6 nothing, Raging Cajuns. We need Pedro Goddard at QB so badly. See how this read option works. I mean, they read the quarterback and shut down the running back. Completely swallowed up. Darren Maxwell has had, as you can see, almost no success on the ground today. Third and one, Kendrick Cunningham. Not been great today. Part of that, as you guys know, is on me. And they read the pitch so well. Stop doing that. You're supposed to be bad. You play for Louisiana Lafayette. We're going for it. From about midfield, down by six. Only three yards. Maybe we don't get it, but maybe we do. Fourth and three. We need it. We're going to check down to the flat. Maxwell picks it up. Oh, my God. Is he still going? Is he still going? What is happening? First and ten. We're just going to take it off and run. Again, I just don't trust Kedrick Cunningham through the air. 
8.9 per carry on the ground. Why would we not? The pistol is fire. And it figures. We're the outlaws. Why do we not run pistol primarily? <laughs> Just for the joke, if anything else. If not anything else. Cunningham to the flat. It's Huggins. Marty Huggins. His name's Trey. I don't, I'm not calling him that. That is Marty Huggins from the campaign. We're going for the sweep. Sweep the leg, Marty. You know, this drive hasn't been perfect, but it's the best the offense has looked all game. It's not even close. Uh, this is why you can't throw the ball with Kedrick Cunningham. That's his one flaw. Other than that, great quarterback. Third and three. Here's the handoff to Maxwell. It's a counter. Get to the outside, Maxwell. He not that fast. We're going to throw the fake screen here, but actually go to it. And Karan Kirkpatrick couldn't extend the ball over the plane. That's about as close as you can get. Second and goal. Handoff. Maxwell. Touchdown. How many one-yard touchdowns does Darren Maxwell have on the season? Does anyone know? It's got to be like, uh, oh, I don't know. At least, at least five. I think he has had like three or four in the last three or four episodes. That's what he does, man. One yard touchdowns. We can get so close. And he always just vultures a TD. That's kind of open. More, Maybe more than kind of. Jamarcus Bradley makes his pay. I wish Pedro Goddard could make those throws. I'd be lucky if Kedrick Cunningham could hit a drag, but I don't know. Jennings is going to take off himself. Yeah, we got to, like, he runs like a wide receiver, dude. How is this a QB? Where are the fumbles? It's a screen. We read it somewhat well. But somewhat doesn't get the job done. Jennings taking off. Again, this guy just doesn't fumble. Kedrick Cunningham would have coughed it up every time. Every time he gets touched. Ah, I tried. Another unbelievable run by this running back, quarterback, wide receiver hybrid. These helmets are incredible. I love them a lot. I think maybe the issue is we're worrying too much about the helmets and not about wrapping up. Elijah McGuire, eight yard touchdown run. And they retake the lead. Gonna be 13 to seven. Why would you not go for two here? Why would you not? Cunningham, please. It's Jake Rodriguez. I don't know why Pedro Goddard can't connect to him, but this Kedrick Cunningham to Jake Rodriguez connection has been very good the last couple games. Uh, last game really started to take off in the absence of Pedro Goddard, but this game as well. That one catch there was pretty good. Now he's open. Go, Timmons! All right, we called our last time out. Didn't need to. Didn't need to. Why is the clock still ticking? We got out of bounds. I guess that's halftime. Okay. Oh no. That's very bad. Are we going to catch him? Oh, it doesn't look like it. And now 
the second time in as many games we allow a kickoff return touchdown. This time, Elijah McGuire goes 99, which, uh, well, it says 98. It popped 99 on the screen. Make up your mind. So, we allowed the record for longest kick return in history last year game at 95, and now we've reset it now at 98. So, each game we're breaking records in one way or another. Kendrick Cunningham staying in the game. No sign of Pedro Goddard. We are not that far out of contention here. Cunningham on the run finds Rodriguez. Gains one or two. Third and nine. Got Karan Kirkpatrick. I swear we never were able to throw him the ball. How open or how often do you guys even see Karan Kirkpatrick open? I guess that's his fourth catch of the game. I think his other three catches have been on this exact play. A screen pass or a fake screen where we end up throwing the screen. Here he gets it. Doesn't spin off. Using some power. All right, Karan. There's Jake Rodriguez. I feel like he never trucks over anybody. Wish he had higher trucking. That'd be my dream. Go, Cunningham. I really want to throw it to A. I know Cunningham doesn't have the arm. So we're going to take the yards where we can get him. I really, really wish we had Pedro Goddard. Pedro Goddard maybe makes that throw. I can tell you from experience, and you guys know, Kendrick Cunningham doesn't have that throw in him. It was open. I wanted to. It was never going to happen. Here's Cunningham on the run, though. Good blocks. Second and three. Play action. Rolling out. We had RB. We're going to throw this one on the run. What do you know? It's, it's not even close. I don't know how, like, I know accuracy is a big thing, but I think anybody could make a throw at least closer than that. That wasn't even close to close. You know? Here's a flat, though. Cody! There's a big first down. That's open in the flat. Come on! Get to the edge, Maxwell! I'm trying to bounce it outside like Saquon Barkley, and it's not working. Third and 12. Gabriel Timmons is close. We're going to move up into the hurry up, get back to the line, and uh, convert here on fourth and two. A field goal really, in my opinion, doesn't do us all that much good here. Wide open. Gabriel Simmons, first down, and it's a big one. First and goal, Maxwell, up the middle, touchdown! His rushing touchdown numbers have gone up so much. When's the last time we actually had a good receiving touchdown? It's been a while. But this extra point is going to close the distance a little bit. 20 to 14 in favor of the Raging Cajuns. We are not that far behind. This is a six point ball game. And let's remember the defense has played well today. And of course, Louisiana is not gonna have a, a yard in the second half because uh, they scored on a kickoff return touchdown. And they haven't had the ball since. The defense, oh my god, you idiot. You absolute idiot. Dude, people are just running past Anthony Jennings. Wrap him up, please. But our defense has played well. We've held them to a couple of field goals. Again, a kick return touchdown. And they've scored one legit time, pretty much. One legit touchdown. Third and three. Come on gonna be a read option that's wrapped up and shut down Anthony Jennings loses five and that is such a huge play from the cornerback coming in Mark Fenner I love you we're gonna have a fourth quarter to work with this drive we can retake the lead seven minutes to go let's go Kedrick it's gonna be all rolling out and running we're just gonna slide probably for the best I'm not trying to fumble Go Cunningham. We got a great lead blocker. That's a great block. It is first down after first down after first down. Play action. Nothing really open. Would love to be able to go to A. There's absolutely zero separation. We're going to make the smart play here and throw it into the crowd. Third and five. Come on. We got him. 
Jake Rodriguez drops the football. I thought the Kendrick Cunningham, Jake Rodriguez connection was perfect. And my heart has been broken. Our fourth down conversion is three for three. How can we not convert a third down, but every fourth down we're like, yeah, let's. this is where we play. This is what we play for. We're going to have to throw it up. Yeah, uh, they had the edge. We had the edge. What a bad throw, by the way, but what do I expect? What do I expect there? Was too was too happy to get out of the pocket on that one. Should have stood there in a bit longer. Look for another option. It's my bad. Getting real used to saying. That's open over the middle. And probably a touchdown. I actually got made a tackle. Alright. Is that a center sneak? What the fuck just happened? That can't be legal. What was that? And... Fuzilie. Fuzilie. Whatever his name is. It doesn't matter. He scored a touchdown on us. It's pretty much a two touchdown lead. Three and a half minutes to play. They're going for two. Stopping this doesn't really do much for us. But we stop it anyway. That's wide open. Halfback seam. Darren Maxwell down the middle of the field to give us a chance. We are not out of this one just yet. And that's a bad sack to take. What are you going to do? To Boris Lee. Interesting name there. That will be one of my children. To Boris. He will have many friends with that name. I think we're going to need a... Uh, a real quick score and an onside kick to have a chance. We have three timeouts. And again, we can't throw the ball with Kedrick Cunningham. Please fumble the ball. Oh my god, Kedrick. The final play of the game is a read option. And the frustration of the entire game is taken out with a huge hit on Anthony Jennings. But it doesn't matter because that is the ball game. Louisiana Lafayette beats Ozark State by a score of 26 to 14. And we have unfortunately lost again. Well, that's gonna do it for the video. I am excited as ever to get to the off season because we can bring in new players. That's really what it comes down to. It just With Kedrick Cunningham at quarterback right now, Instead of Pedro Goddard, it seems like we almost don't have a chance because we can't extend the field at all. And Goddard a lot can't even throw the ball far. You know what? It sucks, man. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed regardless of the result. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.